now we're going to be talking about references. References are very similar to pointers. Now, I'm going to start off with a pointer here. So I'm going to say double x equals 5.1. And I'm going to say another double. But I want to make it a pointer. And of course, I want to set it equal to the memory address of x. Now, I'm going to comment this out. So this is how we would create a pointer. But next, this is going to look very similar here. Instead of using an asterisk here, I'm going to use an ampersand. And then I'm going to set it equal to x. Now, this is almost like a pointer. The thing with this here, we don't have to worry about pointing to memory addresses. Now let me show you what it does here. So, um, if I say, if I output x, obviously I'm going to get 5.1. Hopefully, there it is. Now, if I change the value of x here, say x is equal to three, and then I output it again. we get 3. But watch this. here Now with the PTR here, actually I'm going to call it something different. I'm just going to call it smart. I want to call it something different other because it's not a pointer. Now if I say smart is equal to 3, we get 5.1 and 3. Look at that. So what, what I'm saying is that we have two, we basically have two, you can imagine this is two variables that control the same box. So there's three contents here. So uh, if I change smart, if I say smart equals three or I say x equals three, it's the same exact thing. And it's that simple. Now the issue with point, now actually it's not an issue. You have to declare, we have to initialize this to something right away. Once we initialize this smart to something here, since so say I'd say I make a double with an ampersand and then smart. Other people might write it like this. It's the same thing. But uh, you have to give it a value right away. In this case, it's going to be x. So let's say I make another one called double y. So right here, this is in a nutshell pointing to y for forever until the program terminates. So I can never, so smart will always be pointing to y. Or if I make it to x, smart, in this case now smart's always going to be pointing to x. There's no way I can change what it's pointing to. So you have to initialize it to something immediately. We can't, we can't make it point, like with a pointer we can have it switch values. We can have it point to x uh, for a couple for a couple seconds and then the next line of code it might be pointing to something else. We can change what it's pointing to as with a pointer but with a uh, when we use a reference here which in this case smart is a reference it's always going to be pointing to whatever it is initialized to when it's born so this is created here this will always 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 be pointing to X it'll never point to anything else and that's how we can use this is how we can use this here but let's see how why we would ever want to use this. So this will probably be the most... So let's say I have uh, x and y, okay? And I'm going to make a function here. So imagine I have a, uh, a bottle. I have two bottles here. A bottle na labeled x and a bottle labeled y. This would have 5.1 liters of water. This, let's say this would have 3 liters of water. So let's say I want to make a new function with no return type, and I want to call it pour, because I want to pour one into the other. So I'm going to say double x, double y, and then I want to say uh, double z. And actually, I like to give these more use. I'm going to say bottle 1, bottle 2, 
bottle too. And now these names are, you can call them whatever you want. But now, I want to say, um, Now I could give these more meaningful names, but kind of ignore the names here. Just look, just look at the variables. Look what's happening to them. And we know that when we run this here, if I uh, if I uh, say poor here, x comma y comma let's say uh, two, well, obviously nothing's going to happen. So what I want to do, I want to see out before yeah no I should have typed this up beforehand okay so this is basically before here and I'm gonna Now we know what's going to happen, that nothing's visible is going to happen after I call this function. It's going to be 5.13 before when I call this function with x, y, and 2 here. I want to say 2.1. Nothing's going to happen. <clears throat> and we've seen this several times before, where we can make two pointers and have them point to two different variables and then call them. But we can now use the ampersands here we actually make two references here. Now these two references here are pointing to the same variable forever until it's destroyed. Well in this case, since these are in two different scopes, this is the advantage of a reference here. I can actually change the values here. In this case, I'm, I'm pouring 2.1 of this into here. So I'm just taking, I subtract 2.1 from 3 and I add 2.1 to here. And that's just my own little function. And you can make it however you want. In this case, I can say x is here and y is here and switch them. Now I'm reversing it. Now I'm taking 2.1 here and 2.1 here. Actually, maybe I better change that number. I didn't think. It looks like they switched, but let's say I say uh, 3.2. Now I subtract a 3.2 from here to here because I switched the variables. I can also put a negative value here to I could do what I want with it. And yes, this should probably be after so we can see what's going on afterwards after I call the function. But yes, that's the advantage of pointers. We can use ampersands here. The white space doesn't matter. I can put them here, so I'm switching this, and it's still the same output. So this is how we will be able to change the values of our variables, by doing things like this, by using this ampersand here. So we are actually no longer passing by copy here. We used to be um, passed by... We used to actually pass in a copy of the value to a separate variable here. Well, now we're actually passing in the variable, or we're actually creating a separate reference, which is referring to the same variable. Very similar to a pointer, and it keeps things much easier. So that's what I wanted to show you with references here. Now keep in mind that references will point to the same variable for the rest of its life. But not very many times will you make a reference in the main scope. You will probably mostly, 99.9% .9 of the time, I've been using references just as parameters here to keep, so I can change the value of variables up here. Now notice that z doesn't have a variable here. Like it's, it's well, if I pass in a variable to z here, if I made a separate variable here, let me say double z here. The same rules are going to apply. 
I can put in any variable I'd like here, but I'll never change the value of z because looking at this here, it doesn't have a, a reference here. So it, the z will always be preserved. Unless unless I pass in a pointer somewhere, which would change it. But other otherwise, this would be preserved. And we, we would run into an issue here if we were to pass in a constant. So we can't pass constants, or literals, as one might call it, into parameters that require a ampersand here. So this 4 is trying to go into the bottle 2 here, which is not going to work. But we can put in a constant or a value here if it doesn't have the ampersand here, because we're not actually passing in that variable, we're actually just putting in a copy of the value. And this is what we were we should be most familiar with is by passing by copying. Making a copy, which is what we've been doing the entire time, but now this is our first time using a reference. The other issue is be careful of doing this, passing in doubles here. Try not to use the same variable in two different parameters. There could be some issues here. It's potential issues because these are two the all three of these this one here, this one here, and these guys here are all pointing to the same variable, so we're going to add 2 to 1, subtract 2 from the other, which in this case nothing really happened. But you can, you can run into potential problems when you're not dealing with just numbers. So far, I believe in all these tutorials we have only been dealing with numbers, and characters maybe, some of the time. Otherwise, you'll run into some issues here, so try not to do this, that's bad. Try to use different variables, different times. Okay, so that's what we know about references. And next, uh, I want to move on to classes and structs. But we'll be using references for the rest of our programming careers in C++. And pointers will come back. We'll see pointers again, but we're going to be sticking with references. So that said, again, we're going to go up a notch in the next tutorial.